As of right now, I am retired. I have no interest of getting back in the ring. I would rather be sitting down on the beach, getting my dick sucked by two escorts at the same time, than fucking going in there and getting fucking hanging out with a bunch of sweaty dudes all day. Las Vegas witnessed a changing of the guard tonight, as lightweight sensation Pitbull Cruz dismantled the once unstoppable Rolly the Machine Romero in a dominant display. Ten round fight, which headlined a major pay-per-view event, was a brutal affair that left many questioning Romero's future in the sport. Romero, known for his relentless pressure and ability to take punishment, looked like a shell of his former self. The fire that once flickered in his eyes seemed extinguished, replaced by a concerning sluggishness. Cruz, on the other hand, was a man possessed. He peppered Romero with jabs throughout the fight, finding openings with ease. The turning point came in a dramatic seventh round. A thunderous right hook from Cruz landed flush on Romero's temple, sending him crashing to the canvas in a heap. Romero, ever the warrior, rose on shaky legs, but it was evident the fight had taken its toll. Cruz sensed blood in the water and turned up the pressure, unloading a flurry of punches that had Romero on the back foot for the remainder of the fight. The referee, mercifully, intervened in the ninth round, sparing Romero from further punishment. A dejected Romero shuffled into the post-fight press conference, his face a canvas of bruises and welts. The usual bravado was absent, replaced by a somber acceptance of defeat. Let's be honest. Romero muttered, his voice hoarse. Cruz was the better fighter tonight. He deserves all the credit, paused, running a hand through his sweat-drenched hair. Honestly, after a performance like that, it's hard to argue with anyone who says I'm washed up. A wry smile played on his lips for a fleeting moment. I've been in this crazy world of boxing for a long time, been in wars, but you know what they say, everyone gets old eventually. Romero, a former two-division world champion, has always been admired for his granite chin and unwavering determination. Throughout his career, he has battled through injuries and emerged victorious against all odds. However, tonight's fight seemed to be a bridge too far. The beating he absorbed raised serious questions about whether he could still compete at the highest level. This sport is young man's game, Romero sighed, leaning back in his chair. You gotta have that fire in your belly, that hunger to win every fight. Truth is, I just don't have that same fire anymore. Don't get me wrong. He added quickly, his voice regaining some of its old spark. I wouldn't trade my experiences in this sport for anything. The belts, the fights, the fans, it's all been incredible. A hint of pride flickered in his eyes. But there comes a time for everyone to hang up the gloves. And I think that time has come for me. With those words, Romero dropped the bombshell. So, after a lot of soul-searching, he said, his gaze meeting the reporters directly, I've decided to step away from the sport. Effective immediately, I am announcing my retirement from professional boxing. A stunned silence descended upon the press room. Reporters, many of whom had chronicled Romero's meteoric rise to the top, were speechless. This wasn't the ending anyone had envisioned for the machine. Romero, ever the showman, offered a weak grin. I know this might come as a surprise to some of you, he said, his voice laced with a hint of emotion, but the decision feels right. I achieved more than I ever thought possible. I fought the best, and most importantly, I always left it all in the ring. He puffed out his chest slightly, a flicker of his old swagger returning. And that's something I can be damn proud of. There were more than a few misty eyes in the room as Romero continued. Boxing has given me so much, he said, his voice thick with emotion. The memories, the friendships, the challenges, I'll never forget any of it. But now, it's time for the next chapter. Rolly the Machine Romero's retirement marks the end of an era. He leaves behind a legacy of thrilling fights, captivating knockouts, and an unyielding fighting spirit. While tonight's defeat may have been a bitter pill to swallow, there's no doubt that Romero will be remembered as one of the most exciting fighters of his generation. I want to tell everybody, just thank you for coming out and... Uh, and honestly, happy Easter, everybody, you guys. Jesus, like Jesus was re re resurrected. Anticipated lightweight showdown between Rolly the Machine Romero and the rising star Isaac Pitbull Cruz lived up to the hype, but not quite in the way many expected. This wasn't a back and forth slugfest, it was a display of calculated aggression from Cruz and a valiant, but ultimately unsuccessful 
effort from a diminished Romero. The fight, which took place as part of a major pay-per-view event in Las Vegas, started with a bang. Cruz, seemingly fueled by Romero's pre-fight taunts, came out swinging. He landed a vicious left hook early in the first round that sent a jolt through Romero, sending the machine wobbling for a moment. Romero, known for his toughness, managed to recover, but the writing seemed to be on the wall. Cruz was the aggressor, dictating the pace of the fight, while Romero struggled to find his rhythm. We gave the fans a great fight, Romero admitted at the post-fight press conference, his voice tinged with disappointment. Unfortunately, we came up short. A hint of respect flickered in his eyes for his opponent. I want to thank Pitbull Cruz. He's a hell of a fighter. Romero did show flashes of his old brilliance. He worked with his trainer, Ismael Salas, to utilize movement and ring smarts to stay in the fight. This strategy helped him navigate the middle rounds, but it wasn't enough to truly trouble Cruz. Romero even resorted to some holding tactics which earned him a point deduction in the fifth round. The turning point came in the seventh round. Cruz unleashed a relentless barrage of punches, culminating in a thunderous right hand that rocked Romero to his core. While Romero, ever the warrior, managed to stay on his feet, it was clear he was badly hurt. I fought with the intention to leave the decision out of the judge's hands. Cruz declared at the press conference, a satisfied grin spreading across his face. Mission accomplished. The eighth round saw Cruz finish what he started. A flurry of power punches overwhelmed a fading Romero, forcing the referee to intervene and stop the fight. The official decision, a TKO victory for Isaac Pitbull Cruz. The dominance of Cruz was reflected in the punch statistics. He landed significantly more punches than Romero and with greater accuracy. This fight marked a changing of the guard in the lightweight division, with Cruz establishing himself as a force to be reckoned with. I am not here just to be a dangerous fighter, Cruz stated confidently. I now have a title that is backing me up, so anybody that is available, I'll be ready. Meanwhile, Romero's future remains uncertain. While he expressed his desire to return, the punishment he absorbed raises questions about his ability to compete at the highest level. One thing is certain, the boxing world witnessed the end of an era tonight. Who was a champion, tested positive for steroids because he's a piece of shit, and I got a, a dangerous 24 wins with 22 knockout puncher. He would have survived an extra 40, uh, uh, 40 seconds with a devastating puncher like myself. The lightweight clash between Rolly the Machine Romero and the rising star Isaac Pitbull Cruz was supposed to be a night of fireworks. Instead, it ended in controversy and a bitter pill to swallow for Romero, who left the ring defeated and fuming about the referee's decision. The fight itself was a display of calculated aggression by Cruz. He landed a heavy left hook early on that sent a wobble through Romero, setting the tone for the rest of the night. While Romero, known for his resilience, weathered the storm, he never quite managed to find his rhythm. Cruz's relentless pressure kept him on the back foot and frustration began to show on Romero's face. The turning point came in a dramatic seventh round. A flurry of punches from Cruz culminated in a right hand that landed flush on Romero's head. Romero went down but rose on shaky legs, a warrior's spirit pushing him to continue. However, the referee, concerned about Romero's well-being, stepped in and waved off the fight in the eighth round. This decision ignited a firestorm of controversy. Romero, in the post-fight press conference, displayed a mix of anger and disbelief. His voice laced with frustration, he argued that the stoppage was premature. I was never out of it, Romero exclaimed, slamming his fist on the table. Sure, Cruz caught me clean in the seventh, but I was on my feet. I could have seen the fight through. That ref threw it away for me. A dark look clouded his eyes. This whole thing feels rigged, man like the fix was in from the start. Romero's accusations were met with skepticism by many analysts. The dominance of Cruz throughout the fight was undeniable, and replays showed Romero clearly on the defensive in the eighth round. However, Romero remained unconvinced. Look, I take my hat off to Cruz, Romero conceded grudgingly. He's a hell of a fighter. But the way this fight ended, it just doesn't sit right with me. I deserved a chance to fight back. A flicker of defiance sparked in his eyes. Maybe I wasn't at my best tonight, but a true champion goes out on his shield. They don't get robbed like this. Whether Romero's claims of a rigged fight hold water remains to be seen. However, one thing is clear. The warrior spirit that has defined his career burns bright even in defeat. Only time will tell if Romero attempts to challenge this controversial ending or decides to walk away from the sport on a sour note.
the bad blood between Rolly the Machine, Romero and Isaac Pitbull, Cruz, continues to simmer, threatening to overshadow Cruz's dominant victory in their recent lightweight showdown. Romero, still fuming over the loss and the controversial stoppage, launched a verbal attack on Cruz, calling him weak and questioning his intelligence. These comments have ignited a firestorm of their own, prompting a furious response from Cruz. Let's rewind a bit. The fight itself was a clear display of Cruz's superior skills and relentless pressure. He dominated Romero from the opening bell, culminating in a TKO victory in the eighth round. However, the post-fight press conference took a turn for the worse when Romero, instead of offering congratulations to the victor, unleashed a tirade of insults. Cruz is a decent fighter, Romero begrudgingly admitted. But that's all he is. Decent. He didn't win because he was better. He won because the fight was fixed. Romero then took aim at Cruz's character. And let's be honest, he sneered. The guy isn't exactly the brightest bulb, is he? These comments were a sucker punch for Cruz, who had conducted himself with respect throughout the fight week. Cruz, known for his quiet demeanor and focus on his craft, surprised everyone with the intensity of his response. Listen here, Rolly, Cruz said, his voice laced with barely contained anger. You want to talk weak and stupid? Look in the mirror, buddy. You got knocked out for thinking you could walk all over me like some chump. Cruz leaned forward his gaze fixed on the reporters. I trained my ass off for this fight. I put in the blood, sweat and tears, and I dominated you in the ring. There ain't nothing weak about that. Cruz didn't stop there. He addressed Romero's claims of a fixed fight with unconcealed contempt. A fixed fight? Cruz scoffed. You're just a sore loser grasping at straws. The only thing rigged here is your ego, Rolly. You couldn't handle the fact that a young fighter with heart and hunger came in there and exposed you for what you are. A faded champion past his prime. 